Do you want those Winchester files for me? Yes, I do. I completed them last night. You can put them on my desk. Why can't you take them now? Protocol states that you put them on management's desk. Then why did you ask? I was concerned how long it was taking you to complete the forms. I'll deliver them this afternoon. Thank you. Do you want those Stevenson files for me? Yes, I do. Thank you, Natasha. Boy, are you beautiful. Wow. Wait. Office protocol states that no staff member of advanced finance should fraternize with office management. He just complimented me. We're not fraternizing. Mm. Latasha, have you got the files for me? I already put them on your desk. I love it when people follow office protocol. Now, I'll be out of the office for the rest of the day, but if you need to get a hold of me, I will be at the Thompson Neighborhood Development Conference. But you can't call me there. You have to text. Mm -hmm. I expect the Winchester files to be on my desk when I get back. Got it. We're both gonna get fired. Like he said, he's at a conference. And your ass been here for months and ain't found shit. I can only keep his life for so long. If I have to spend one more day in that man's face, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna have to practically start sleeping with him. You know what? I should have never brought you aboard. You don't listen to anything that I said. Well, if you would have listened to me, then James will still be alive. Now move your ass over. What exactly am I looking for? Evidence. That son of a bitch is going to get off side creep if he catches it. And how in the hell did you finish those financial reports so quick? My friend is the accountant. You know, the one who gave me the recommendation for this job? He's the one who finished it for me. And I don't want to know what you had to do to get those reports. That Jake is running a mortgage foreclosure scam. That he's created false income statements. And he's boosted fake income. Most importantly, we need to find evidence that he's actually scammed those people out of their money. All I need you to do is make sure you keep that horny bastard occupied. Stacy, 
What? I found him. What? I found James. Deposits? Okay, what are we looking at? Deposits. I knew it. I knew it. Jake is running a Ponzi scheme. None of these deposits are real. He doesn't own any of these properties. He's created a fake company so the IRS cannot track him or the company. Okay, so how does this help us? Okay, let me put this in Lane's terms. Jake was cheating the investors, including Jake. Jake tricked James by making him believe that he was investing his money into some government agency buying foreclosed houses. But he invested our life savings. This says that he invested $260,000 into the Elwood estate. Let me see that. That's no way. In Oliver or whatever the hell that is. Why would he do this? James is not just going to give over $260,000. This doesn't make sense. He started off small, you know, with little investments and was getting back time, uh, returns often. About four months before, he started acting strange, like coming home late, avoiding talks about our anniversary. He seemed real uninterested in the family reunion that was right around the corner. You know, I just thought he was having a hard time adjusting to the married life, you know? Well, he could have came to me. He could have talked to me. Fuck! I could have helped him! That explains the email. What email? I found the email that James sent Jake telling him that he knew what was going on. And that there was no way he could tell me what he did and that his life was over because of this. We need to make copies of these files and report them to the IRS. No, he took James' life. Now I want his. What about all the other people he cheated? Who cares about the other people? James is dead because of him. I don't give a damn about a Ponzi scheme, a mortgage finance scheme, or anything else. He took James' life, now I want his. So are you going to help me find more evidence to prove that he's the reason why James committed suicide? Hell, it's your fault he's dead in the first place. How in the hell is it my fault? James would have never been in this situation if it wasn't for you. I didn't tell him to spend every last dime of our life savings. Oh, Rick. But no, you had to go ahead and have a $40,000 wedding ring and let's not talk about that Why did you guys break up? He was 
fucking weird, crazy as all get out. I'm pretty sure he snorted more coke than he turned in. I mean, he had a real mean jealousy. Good in bed, though. Crazy as all get out. Trust who? Trust who? 